Stopping is not always the safest thing to do in an emergency. True or false? What are some advantages to going right instead of left around an obstacle? What is an escape ramp? Hello, this is Barry Branton. I'm making these study videos to help you pass the CDL General Knowledge Exam. The questions along with the answers, which I cover in this video, can be found in the CDL manual. A link to that manual is in the description. Question group H, seven questions, covering sections 2.17, driving emergencies, 2.18, anti-lock braking systems, ABS, and 2.19, skid control and recovery. Stopping is not always the safest thing to do in an emergency. True or false? True. Stopping is not always the safest thing to do in an emergency. When you don't have enough room to stop, you may have to steer away from what's ahead. Remember, you can almost always turn to miss an obstacle more quickly than you can stop. However, top heavy vehicles and tractors with multiple trailers may flip over. What are some advantages to going right instead of left around an obstacle? If an oncoming driver has drifted into your lane, a move to your right is best if that driver realizes what has happened, the natural response will be to return to his own lane. If the shoulder is clear, going right may be best. No one is likely to be driving on the shoulder, but someone may be passing you on the left. You will know if you have been using your mirrors. If you are blocked on both sides, a move to the right may be best. At least you won't force anyone into an opposing traffic lane and a possible head-on collision.
What is an escape ramp? Escape ramps have been built on many steep mountain downgrades. Escape ramps are made to stop runaway vehicles safely without injuring drivers and passengers. Escape ramps use a long bed of loose, soft material to slow a runaway vehicle, sometimes in combination with an upgrade. If a tire blows out, you should put the brakes on hard to stop quickly. True or false? False. Stay off the brakes. It's natural to want to brake in an emergency. However, braking when a tire has failed can cause loss of control. Unless you're about to run into something, stay off the brakes until the vehicle has slowed down. Then brake very gently, pull off the road, and stop. How do you know if your vehicle has anti-lock brakes? Tractors, trucks, and buses will have yellow ABS malfunction lamps on the instrument panel. Trailers will have yellow ABS malfunction lamps on the left side, either on the front or rear corner. What is the proper braking technique when driving a vehicle with anti-lock brakes? Brake the same way, regardless of whether you have ABS on the bus, tractor, the trailer, or both. How do anti-lock brakes help you? Brake pressure is adjusted to provide the maximum braking without danger of lockup. ABS works far faster than the driver can respond to potential wheel lockup. At all other times, the brake system will operate normally, 